on the U at 6 Eastern. Stanford goalie Jane Campbell, one of the best in the nation. She also had the game winner in the quarterfinal against Florida. Florida State, Stanford, semifinals of the Women's College Cup in about 10 minutes. Virginia has already moved on to the championship for the first time in school history. If we have a Florida State-Virginia rematch, it would actually be part three. Florida State has beaten Virginia two times this season, the only two losses by UVA. Mac Champ Women's College Cup features two of the most consistent women's soccer programs in the country. The Florida State Seminoles bring in a 19-game unbeaten streak as they square off against the Stanford Cardinal, playing in their 24th postseason tournament. The quest for a national championship begins now. Welcome to the 2014 Women's College Cup presented by Northwestern Mutual. We're at the FAU Stadium here in Boca Raton, Florida for semifinal number two. They're both number one seeds. Florida State getting set to take on Stanford. Take a look at the brackets earlier tonight. Virginia, dominant performance in all facets. Three to one winners over Texas A&M. Virginia now awaiting the winner of Florida State and Stanford. And welcome in everybody. I'm Glenn Davis alongside me. She's former U.S. Women's National Team player. Julie Foudy, two consistent programs here. They get to college cups all the time. How do they wrap themselves around the title? And, and that's been the thing that's so crazy is it, it, you could argue these are two of the best programs in women's soccer for the last 10 years, always getting to the college cup. But that last hurdle is elusive for them. And I think the key for Florida State and in their international core especially is that attacking central midfielder from Iceland, Dagny Brynja's daughter. And what a four years she has had at Florida State. 16 goals this year and everything goes through her. She's a playmaker and she's a great finisher for Florida State. And how about Chia Bagagu for Stanford. And for Stanford, Chioma Bagagu is one of those players that's just a game changer. She's fast. She can get around players. She'll want to face up and take on. She played on the under-20 national team, which won the World Cup two years ago. So she's got a great, experienced player. She is going to be critical tonight. We will show you how both the teams will set up in this critical semifinal number two. It's a shot to go to the national championship game. Lineups opening kickoff next. Good look there at Mark Krikorian, the head coach of Florida State. Florida State getting set to take on Stanford. And here is the starting lineup. Florida State in that 4-4-2, and you're going to have Brynja's daughter, the forward. She's playing a high attacking midfielder there, but pay attention to Grubka, the defender for Florida State. She is going to anchor that back line. Senior from Melbourne, Florida. And Everybody's expecting her to be in the NWS. So how about this, Julie? And there's the Stanford fire starter. They do often in the mosh pit. Lola Bonta. And they're in a 4-3-3 for Stanford. Andy Sullivan, that freshman midfielder, anchoring the midfield in that holding position for Stanford. Two-way player, and they say mature beyond her years. Florida State in white. Stanford in the black and red. And immediately, play is switched here. Getting off to a good start here when you're trying to put together two good games over the course of three days is vital. And this is FSU. Florida State 22 1 and 1 during the regular season. Stanford 21 and 3. Two exceptional programs with exceptional coaches and talent. Mark Kokori took over the program in 2005. Title contender annually. Seven college cup appearances, but again. The missing piece to the puzzle now is winning the national championship. Yeah. 
And then again, two uh, very good possession teams. He's hit over the top. Boy, pressing there is Shayna Williams for SF FSU, who's got 12 goals and five assists. Came in in the spring, a transfer from Vanderbilt. Paul Ratcliffe. 12th season as Stanford head coach, and he's only uh, led them to six College Cup appearances in seven years and one national title. These are two very sophisticated coaches. We put real demands on the way these teams play. And you see already both like to play a possession style. Very similar. Stanford lining up in that 4-3-3. Florida State more in like a 4-5-1. And all the way back it goes the Florida State goalkeeper, Cassie Miller, a 0 0.37 goals against average. She's got 17 shutouts this year. Stanford now. Whipped across the face of goal, goal and cleared by Megan Campbell. More pressure now from Stanford. A great start for them. And it'll be a goal kick to FSU. Some great storylines here to follow. Florida State, 15 consecutive NCAA championship appearance. They've got a 19 match unbeaten streak at 18 0 1. Stanford, 24th NCAA championship appearance. And um, these two programs meeting for the third time in their history. I mean, so consistently good at getting into this final four teams. Yet only one national title between them was Stanford in 2011. And these seniors for Florida State, fourth college cup for them every single year. That to me is just remarkable to get here year in and year out. Condensed schedule in the college game, so grueling. And one thing we heard consistently in our meetings with teams, uh, everybody felt they were peaking at the right time here. Good news for Florida State. Jamia Fields on that right side, number four. Very busy and active in the game. She's got the pace to get in behind. She's going to try and get in line, find a cross. Senior from Alta Loma, California. Had two goals against South Carolina in the quarterfinals. Be careful here, the long throw is a big piece of the FSU attack. Huge piece, Megan Campbell plays for the Irish national team. She's legendary for this throw and it is such a weapon as you're gonna see right now. It's a big run up, whips it into the near post and it earns a corner. The, the benefit for Stanford with this field, as you can see, she doesn't have a lot of space on the, that sideline to run at it because when she's got the space, she can launch that 40, 50, 60 yards. Carson Pickett, the junior from Fleming Island, Florida. Two goals, 13 assists off the corner for FSU. Looking for the game's first goal. In it comes. And it'll be another corner. Stanford just choosing one post player and they're gonna plant someone right there on Jane Campbell. That's so hard for a goalkeeper to clear their line with that player standing in front of them. And it comes again, the header! Did that cross the great divide? No, second chance over the top. So set pieces already. Florida State looking incredibly dangerous here. Crowley again, right on Campbell. You can see her planted there. And they just get enough on it. What a great post play by Stanford just to get a line there. Exactly what you're supposed to do on that place, you, on that post. You cover for your goalkeeper and get in behind. Alex Dahl clearing it from Bethesda, Maryland, one of the tri-captains, a senior coming up with a senior play. For that reason alone, I like two post players. You close that goal down. When the keeper comes out, you're on that line if you're not clearing. What a nice play, though, by Dahl. Lionel had that tackled away by Fields. Brynja's daughter overhits it.
Hannah Farr, number 16, another senior for Stanford. Brynja starter was the target there off that throw. And again, Shayna Williams, good in tight areas, can run at people, threat behind defenses. Four game winners at the tip of the spear for Florida State. And this one will be collected by Cassie Miller, a 0.37 goals against average for Florida State out of Cave Creek, Arizona. Had only two saves against South Carolina. Absolutely put it all together against them. A 5-0 win in the quarterfinals for FSU. There at Michaela Hahn, one of the holding midfielders for FSU. Brynja's daughter knocks it back. Shayna Williams was the target. She came in in the spring, a transfer from Vanderbilt. Added a different dimension to this attack. Boy, has she ever, because she brings pace where she can stretch defenses. That was what I think was missing in their College Cup last season. They didn't have the player with a pace like Williams that makes and opens up space for everyone else. Long throw, the header. Goes back into the middle and it's cleared. Planning for success presented by Northwestern Mutual. And here are the keys you're going to see. Florida State balanced attack. They said they learned last year possession is the part of their style, but they've got to be more direct at times. And then also their bench contribution. They have gotten over 20 goals from Thorvald's daughter, another Icelandic national team player, and Burkowska Matthews coming off that bench. And for Stanford, fine Yule in, in the box. Taylor Yule is their target player who's so good in the box and get organized on set pieces. Stanford now pressing the attack. They try to swing it wide. Again, you see Taylor Yule in the middle, 10 goals, three assists. At Minnesota as a sophomore, she led the nation in goals with 21. She's at the focal point up front today. And 10 goals in her last 10 matches. How about that for a good second part of the year? Yeah, wasn't even starting many of the games. Now has become the starter. Now has become the go-to goal scorer. Wearing number 27 up front for Stanford. Flanked by Megan Turner and Chia Bugagagu. In these first 10 minutes, so much of it is about just figuring out the strengths and weaknesses of the other team. And especially with these systems, Stanford playing with that pinched in three in the middle. So Florida State trying to figure out how they can utilize the flanks, which is going to be a big area of emphasis for them. Tremendous in possession here from Stanford to break some pressure here now, trying to advance it into the final third of Florida State. Is Chi Ubagagagu. Or Ubagagu. You, you, you think this is the greatest name <laughs> in the history of women's college soccer? I do too, and she can play. That time goes down. Ubagagu, 10 goals, 7 assists, also a senior, a captain, is a difference maker, an under 20 World Cup winner for the United States. Stanford here uh, getting more of the ball so far in this one. Ubagadu. Yeah. 
Romine got it wide. That's Hannah Farr, too, an outside back for Stanford, who plays on the lacrosse team as well. And doesn't just play on the lacrosse team, is the second team All-American on that lacrosse team. From Hillsboro, California. And we had Annie Kuntz of Texas A&M, a dual sports star as well. Does a heptathlete, or is a heptathlete for the A&M track and field team. And now Hannah Farr. Ewell tried to nod down the header. Bring his daughter now back in midfield here trying to help defend. And what a matchup that's going to be right there. Andy Sullivan for Stanford in the yellow boots and Brynja's daughter for Florida State. Good build up here. Stanford really looking sharp and alive on the ball here to start this one. And they'll whip it into the box, speared out top of the box, shooting opportunity over the top. Anna Farr, 2014 lacrosse second team All-American is the right back for Stanford here tonight. Pretty impressive, uh, not only to handle two sports, plus your academics. I, I don't know how you do it, it is incredibly impressive. I had a hard enough time with one sport at Stanford. Fought her way into becoming a starter. Here the head coach, Paul Ratcliffe. Kayla Hahn off that last run there. And a good sign for Stanford. Another outside back getting forward. Laura Lytle on that left side. Hannah Farr you just saw earlier on that right side. But in that 4-3-3 system, they're successful and doing well when they can push those backs forward. So FSU will get the free kick. Good look at Emma Coivisto, number 23 for FSU. Also a foreigner from Helsinki, Finland. Seven different countries for Florida State represented, including the United States. It's incredible when you think about it, what Mark Krikorian's done with that international core. And he says a lot of his international players then become his best recruiters. Yeah, Isabella Schmidt, number 11 in midfield, just had the ball. She's from Germany. Brynja's daughter, she's from Iceland. Pickett now. Carson Pickett will get a cross in, and it's miss hitting. It's a bit of a challenge. And having to parry it away was the incredibly talented Jane Campbell with the under-20 U.S. national team. This hit cross has sometimes become incredibly dangerous. Top of the box. They shot the goal, and a great goal. Shayna Williams. Make that Jamia Fields has put FSU up 1-0. And what a beauty that was. She faces. She turns. And you were right with the first one. It's Shayna Williams, Glenn. She looks up, and what a ball in the back of the net. She just has the presence to find a little gap. That is a beauty. Nothing Jane Campbell can do about that. And not much of a window there for her at all. 13th goal of the year, and Florida State head coach Mark Krikorian told us she is outstanding on the turn. She showed it there. And this goal essentially coming against the run of play. 16th minute, Stanford get the cross into the back post, and it'll be a goal kick.
NCAA Women's College Cup presented by Northwestern Mutual. Proud to be an official corporate part partner of the NCAA. Mark Krikorian talking to his goal scorer. Talking about positioning. You can see in it's hard when you're the lone striker up there as Shana, Shana Williams is because you want to push that defense back by pushing that hot line high but then you're you're separated from your group and you can see them telling her get higher push them higher creates more space in your midfield and to your point Glenn against the run of play Stanford having a lot of the ball and one player what a game changer that can be Coming in and just making a difference like that. Boy Vista off the throw. And it was after a very confident start from Stanford. Ball was leaving their feet quickly. Cassie Miller off her line, knocks it forward, headed away firmly. Good defensive header from Kendall Romine. And it's Taylor Yu giving chase here. Yule letting that go because she thinks she's offside. Coverage of the NCAA championships continue with the Women's College Cup Finals Sunday, December 7th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPNU. More information on the NCAA Women's College Cup, go to NCAA.com, the official online home for all 89 NCAA championships. You look at Taylor Yule. Who is the hot goal, goal scorer for Stanford coming into this? Really become their goal scorer here in the second half of the season. But she's one of those players where you, you have to find her. She's not going to be taking on, creating a ton of space. She's this gifted goal scorer that has a sixth sense for if they're in the box and you can find them wherever it is on her head, on her foot. She's going to put it away. And that's the challenge for Stanford is getting that service into her, keeping her high in that box. She's from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. She only had five starts prior to the last nine games where she started eight out of nine. So it's another one of these players that just, you know, emerges at the right time, can be such a difference maker in a season. Pickett lost control. Big switch from Michaela Hahn. And she's got a runner out there. Jamia Fields. Whips in the cross. Overhead kick attempted. And now Stanford will try and calm things down again. And all of a sudden, uh, they are have had their cages a little bit rattled here by that goal. Carson Pickett now. Absolute assist machine with 13 for Pickett. Now, isn't it funny that you score a goal and all of a sudden your possession game improves? Right. And, and, and I think you said it right. Cages rattled a little bit for Stanford. Fields now. Who's explosive out wide and can occupy people. To the box it comes, calmly played out now by Stanford. For the moment, here's Hahn with a back heel. Another back heel. Michaela Hahn squares it. Brinja Storner was the target at the top of the box. Almost hit her. So some tricks and flicks from FSU. Stanford, every time they try and build something out of there, they just can't get out. I credit Florida State for pressing them in. The only way they're out is they're dumping that long ball. So unlike Stanford, they want to build out of there. He's headed away by Maddie Bauer of Stanford. Playing center back alongside Kendall Romine. Laura Lytle, Anna Farr. The two outside backs, and they're getting challenged right now. Shayna Williams, the game's goal scorer.
Kane Campbell knocks it out of play. Uh, earlier tonight, Virginia 3-1 to winners over Texas A&M. Their head coach, Steve Swanson, joining us now. Steve, first off, congratulations. Uh, boy, talk a little bit about that 3-1 to victory over a very tough Texas A&M. Yeah, they, were, they were a good team. Uh, we earned every bit of that, I'll tell you that. But uh, happy to be moving on to the national championship game, that's for sure. I thought our players uh, were, were really resilient, and uh, we needed to be. That Texas A&M uh, showed a lot of heart, that's for sure. What are you most pleased about, Coach, when you talk to the team after the game? Well, I didn't, you know, to be fair, uh, Julie, I thought I thought our team played well. We scored it, a good goals, and I thought our, our goalkeeper made some key saves there. But I didn't think we played as well as we could. I thought our decisions at times uh, let us down. We gave the ball away too easily. And so that's that's something that, that, you know, to win a game like that against an opponent like that where you feel you could play a little bit better, I mean, it's a good sign. And I think hopefully it, it helps us as, it, you know, going into this game on, on Sunday. Steve, listen, congratulations. Uh, a great program. You're in the final. Uh, smile a little bit. Enjoy that for the moment and until Sunday comes along. Okay, thanks, thanks very much, Glenn. Thanks, Julie. All right, that's Steve Swanson, Virginia head coach. And uh, remember, he wanted them to be a little bit more patient in the second half. It seems like they, they did become more patient. Yeah. Good Texas A&M team. Though. And I think that's a team that is so used to holding the ball so much that when they don't have it the whole time, <laughs> you know, you, you, you hear things like that. But I think a, a good solid win by them. I think you're going to find Paul Ratcliffe for Stanford probably having that same frustration right about now, wanting to get the whole get a hold of the ball for Stanford. Again, uh, the fake off the long throw from Campbell. It allows this cross get in to the box off her line is Jane Campbell deals with the contact well, but the offside flag was up. ESPN used coverage of the 2014 NCAA Women's College Cup. Well, Sunday you can see Steve Swanson in Virginia at 1 p.m. Eastern. Teams will take the field to become national champions presented by Northwestern Mutual. It's also live on Watch ESPN. Jamia Fields. Shayna Williams. A quick turn. And it'll be a throw in FSU, holding a 1-0 lead, getting the goal in the 16th minute from Shayna Williams. Changes now for Florida State. Coming on is Berglund Thorsball's daughter. Also from Iceland, Carson Pickett will come off. Also coming off is Shayna Williams. Also the Marta Bakowska Matthews comes on as well. Now those about, two ladies yeah, how about that for two, two players coming off your bench who have 21 goals between them. Long throw from Campbell. Get up, get up. Shooting opportunity hit wide. And that coming from the very talented Michaela Hahn from Titusville, Florida. Stanford going to make another change. Coming on is Rye Hartshorn, who's got eight goals. Off will go the very talented striker Taylor Yule. So Hartshorn on. Hart Walker Hartshorn is, is an athletic target type player. Another great finisher, another good option off your bench. And that's what sets these teams apart when they get to this last four phase is they've got a deep bench they can go to in this situation. Eight goals on the year for Walker Hartshorn. Fourth year in a row with the College Cup for Florida State. They average close to three goals per game. Still looking for their first national championship. They have been unscored upon in the NCAA tournament. It was Megan Campbell off the long ball. Hartshorn with a good win in the air to gain possession for Stanford now. 